Hi everybody, this is Patty Parrish here, um, new member of the Artist Seller Design Team. Ah, how cool is that? Um, I'm going to be posting my second project um, using some more of the uh, various products that um, Artist Seller has on their website for sale, which are awesome. I'm quite the stencil freak, if anybody knows me. Um, and I did a post, uh, it was just released this week on the 5th on their blog, using these two new stencils that were fabulous. Um, that's part of the Sacred Geometry set that was just released on the 1st of February. Today, I'm going to do something uh, a little different than usual. I'm in my working in my old vintage uh, ledger that I got on Etsy. It's a pretty cool old book, actually. Uh, the pages are a little fragile, so I have to... Um, Make sure I gesso it because some of them are very thin. But see all these entries that are in here? It's pretty cool. Well, hang on. There's some more. It's from 1938. Some of the entries are dated. So, oh, got a little sticking. Oh, texture. Texture opportunity. Look at that. See what I mean? So, without much further ado, let's get started. I'm going to do something different today. Going with black gesso, which I love and don't use nearly enough, at least for a base on my pages. Um, but I'm going to put down a layer of black gesso okay. over this whole spread. I'm going to pick one of my stencils here. I've got quite a few of these, I, and this isn't all that I have, but these are just a few of my artist seller stencils that I have. <clears throat> I know. It's a problem. It's a good problem, and I'm not looking for a 12-step program, but... Okay, let's go with Cathedral. That's really one of my faves of all my stencils, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit busier pattern, and I'm going to uh, try to map out, try to even this, so I'm kind of in the center of the spread. So I'm going to go four corners with this and make one big cathedral window is my plan. Now let's see how that works out in real life. But I'm going to mix these inks, which I can hear you saying, but Patty, they're not going to show up. You're on black. Well, that's right. Partially right. So what I'm going to do is, this is a little tricky in this fold here to hold this down right, but I'm going to get inky. There's no way around it. And quite happy that way. So let's just go for it. So I'm going to spray some of the turquoise. I'm going to overlap. Oh no. Overlap with some. Come on baby. Hold on. Hold that thought. Need some surgery here, I think. Might need to grab another bottle. Oh, here we go. Some pink. And let's mix this with a little bit of blue. And it might be there, it might not be there. I don't really care. And even though it's a sin, I'm going to blot this on this paper, which I'm sure I will use later. I always do, somehow. Oh, yummy already. I'm going to try to overlap this, flip it down, so I'm continuing that arc. I'm going to go blue in the center. Oh, that was turquoise there, wasn't it? Well, let's mix it up. What do we say? What's the worst that can happen? I'm blue on the top of that one. I'm 30 seconds into this, and I already look like a smurf. Huh. Oh, if I ever become a allergic to this stuff, I will shoot myself. Buckle up my sleeves. Okay, let's go. I guess I went blue down there. We'll go diagonal with the colors. Come on, squirt pink, squirt. There we go. And some turquoise down here. And then I'm going to have some really yummy paper here to mess with later. And the final arc, right there. Let's go back to, oh, I don't even know where I am anymore. 
multitasking at my age is starting to be quite a feat. I used to be able to do it pretty easily. Yeah, not so much anymore. Okay. There we go. I love those three colors. Gotta tell you. Ooh, that's my palette right there. All right. So I'm going to dry this real quick so it doesn't run too much. Hold this up a little bit high so I don't blow it. A little bit of it is, is poodled, as Diane would, Reedley would say. Make a poodle. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's just a sheen of that design on there. You can see some overspray. You can see it just looks kind of reddish and gold. Well, it does to me. I don't know what you're seeing. Probably just a big black blob. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another design in that same series of Cathedral. And I'm going to try to line this up with where the first one was. And for this, I'm going to use some gesso. I love gesso. Gesso of all colors. Uh, let's see, what do I want to use with this? I'm going to use, you know what, I'm going to use these. These are really cool. I just got these the other day at Michael's. It's a set of, I don't know, maybe six different sizes. They're Martha Stewart, Stewart Daubers. And there's more in the thing. I just didn't pick them all up. Um, what's really cool, actually I'm going to use one that's not so big, is when you wash these, I was thinking, hey, they're going to be all cruddy up in here. Hello, you pull this out, wash the whole thing, push it back in, back to daubing. So um, I'm going to dab some gesso. Get this kind of worked in that sponge tip a little bit. So I don't have too much on there, but enough that I don't have to dab forever to get a coat on here. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to dab over this stencil. And what you'll see start happening is the stencil pattern below it and those inky colors is going to come up through the gesso because that the moisture in the gesso is reactivating that ink. That's why with Diane's inks, if you've heard of her ghosting technique where she'll spray the inks on the page, lay a stencil over the ink, and then spray water over the stencil, let it sit for a second, then roll it up, and you have a ghosted image of that stencil where it actually picks up some of the ink because the water reactivates it. I saw uh, Paula Phillips, Journal Artista. If you don't know her, you should really watch her videos. Really good. Very nice girl. Very... Uh, artistic, very cool chickaroo. And that's what that one's going to look like. It's, if you can see, I'll hold this up when I get finished, but um, trying to clean up these edges here and keep it as neat as possible. Not that it really matters. Oh, ah, good thing. Way to go. Okay, I'm going to go across the page now since this is all gooky. Yes, that is a technical term. And I'm going to overlay the one below it again. And start dabbing over here. Hopefully you can see this. Try to tilt it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, drying again. Right. Tea break. You see this, the little white veining through here and the little dots in the ring through here that was on the previous design? Can't hate that. And I got all this. Ah, yes I do. So now, what shall we do from here? Um, let me have a little look in my washi tape drawer. Etsy strikes again. Got a couple of little pieces of this fabric tape that I got on Etsy that I, <coughs> pardon me, love it. Hmm. Not sure tie-dye actually, I 
one actually doesn't look too bad. Yep. Really like these guys right here. That's oh hey how about that? That's what I'm thinking. Yep. All right, I'm probably gonna get myself so tied up. I'm gonna have to call my husband to cut me out of this stuff <laughs> again. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. Well, let's just let's move this out of the frame. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Okay. Oops. All right. I don't know. This kind of looks... I don't know. Well, what the hell. We're going to use it anyway. we got to start somewhere. My scissors. I I better put this in some water. Or that will be permanently black. I think a little frame, vertical frame maybe with this will look pretty cool. How about that? Well, now I know why I can't see. I have my glasses on. Lord, the other day I was driving to work. My drive to work's not that far. It might take me 10 minutes to get to our office now since we moved in a new building last summer. Um, and I was got all my stuff ready and I'm driving to work. And I'm thinking, I'm, I know I forgot something. I can't think of what it is. And usually when I say that, I'm right. I have forgotten something. Then it dawned on me. Yes, I forgot something. I realized that I can't see because I forgot my glasses. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Luckily, that's the first thing to go. What are you going to do? It doesn't look too bad. I probably should have thought through this. I do this every time. Not that I've made that many videos. This is number four, I think. But I never plan ahead. I just, I kind of wing my whole life, actually. <laughs> what the hell? I'm almost 56 and I'm still here. Ew. -ew. Well, drippage. Oop, got a little white spot. Okay. All right. Now what? More ideas? Anyone want to raise their hand? Let's see. I've got all these set out here. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I think I got... Where is it? Here it is. I got this stuff. Stuart Gil Gilding Chips. Um, from Articeller. Made in Scotland. Huh. Okay. What the hell? Let's throw some on there, shall we? Oh, hello. This, too. This stuff is cool. Now, Artist Seller does sell some Viva Decor products, which I really like them. They're uh, made in Germany. More stores are starting to carry them around here, and I know that Artist Seller does have some. I don't know if they have this particular color called Hologram. This is the coolest stuff. I don't know if you can see that. It's like little, faint, little, really brilliant colored glitter. And a white gel that drives, yeah, a little milky but not white and not clear. I don't know. Let's trial some of that on somewhere, somehow. I don't know where and how. We've got kind of borders left here. Oh, let's try. I wonder if I can enhance this arc and mimic this curve by trying to hit out here with a little bit of that stuff. Hmm. Well, don't know till you try. Hang on to your hat. Here we go. I usually use a little, my little knife and um, just scrape this puppy on there. Easy as that. I try to just scrape it where I think I want, you know, the arc the design to go. Let's say cut it off there. Oops. Way to go. Dropped it on there. And then I try to get it off the edges of the page. 
because I will have the whole book glued together before it's all over with. Oh, that looks really cool in the black. It really shows up. Now, of course, I did the one closest to me first. I'm telling you, not that bright. But I usually have fun, so I don't know if that counts or not, but I'm going to say it does. So let's do about the same thing and just grab the corners up here and see what happens. I figure what's the worst that can happen? It's going on a piece of paper, right? Somebody going to shoot me if it doesn't turn out perfect? I don't think so. Yum! Oh, that looks good. I like that on that black. I will be doing that again, my friends. This, I can assure you. Huh. A little cockeyed over here with the arc. That's all right. Cockeyed arc is better than no arc at all. I've always said that. I like this little stencil though. This is, I use this a lot for little pops of black and and for uh, putting on some 3D goodness like this stuff. Yes, I do. I use my chicken wire stencil, this one, a lot for this stuff too. And, so, and a lot of times some just punchinella. I like that look too with just the circles. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, we'll use some punchinella, and I'll put some, I don't know, matte medium or molding paste or something through that. Oops, hello. Well, that was a big flub. I don't know if you saw that little mishap. Oh, kind of covered it up. So there. And you can see these reactive inks are actually getting a little blue in my jar there, but don't much care if it does or not. Okay. Get the lid back. Oh, jeez, it was. Get the lid back on that puppy. Now, see if you guys can see the way that's catching the light off of that black. That's a lot more apparent. When I do this on white paper or a white background, it's there. You can you can see it, but not near as uh, clear as that. I like that. It's a little symmetrical though. So let's do, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point now, but what the hay. Um, I wonder, I wonder if I put some sort of medium on all these little petals here and try to put some of this in the center. I don't know, I've never used these before. Ah, what the hell? Hang on. Um, all right, let's try some matte medium. It says with art mediums, so. Um, what the heck? Here we go. I'm going to put a pretty thick coat on there. Oops. All right, put your arm in it again. Lordy. See, I really should think this out more. By the time I get finished, these hologram designs down here... <laughs> Not going to be looking so pretty. Okay. Oops. Putting a kind of a thick coat because these are look sort of chunky. And there's no way they're going to go in between the lines and show that black outline. Although this will dry clear. So depending on how much I get on there. I mean, why am I even guessing? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So when you see what happens, that's when I see what happens. Okay. I had a 
cutesy little spoony thing, but I have no idea where that is. I'll use my fingers. Oops, better get some of the stuff off first. Okay. All right, here goes nothing, people. All right, let's just do it this way. Okay, this is either going to be really cool or, or not. <laughs> At the moment, I'm leaning towards not, but, you know, what are you going to do? Until you try, you don't know, really, right? Let's see how many I can get back in the pot. About six. <laughs> All right, we'll have to worry about that later. Probably for the rest of my life have this journal. I'll be seeing these things all over everything. Oh, little party. All right, remember what I just said about maybe so, maybe not? Mm. They're really cool, though. I love the color of them, and they're, they're very shiny. Not sure that was a great idea. I think I'm making it go from a cathedral window to a Christmas wreath here, but... Let me dry them before they're totally blown all over. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Having a little party. Hold it up higher. Maybe there'll be one left by the time I get this dry. Mm. Let's do a little something dotty here. And, of course, this overspray color is going to come up through these little dots, too. Which I don't mind at all. I'm trying to cover that up a little bit. I like things in threes. I'm a three girl. That's, oop, hello. Too much gesso. And I like stuff off the edge of the page, too. I'm trying to cover up some of these little over... It wasn't really a spray. That was just, I guess, the gesso. Over-pouncing. <laughs> you can really see the color coming up through these now. Don't mind that at all. All right, let's do... How about this? This? Now, this is the first time I've shown this. This is what I used to make my little marks with. Um, that I like to do. Those little rectangular bars. This is my Montana acrylic marker. It's acrylic paint and a big, oops, hello, big dabber tube. Um, this one's the 15 millimeter wide, and I love it. I got, I think I've had just about every color they have now, but the black and the white one I use all the time. Let me put a few little rings on here. That's what we need, some rings. How about that, too? I'll just put them everywhere. What the heck? Hmm. I have this thing about the number 11. I was born on the 11th of April. And when I do these rings, I always try to put 11 on there. I don't know must be psychotic in some, to some level or something, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, three more. Where are you going to go? One there. Mmm. One there. And, ah, well, we're going to go one right there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. was using a toilet paper roll and it just got held on to more gesso and more gesso. It's making really fat rings. So this is off one of my hair products. Perfect size. Same size as my toilet paper roll. I like it. I'm going to let those dry a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to go around the areas and fill in with my little marker. Okay. 
And not a whole lot of white space on this one, is there? I just like everything in odd numbers. I either do like three bops of this or five. Like here's an opportunity for five in a row right there. I just kind of look around the page and see where I can maybe put a couple little fill-in marks. Not much room on this page for this stuff, but that's okay. That's all right. I wonder if I, I'm just deciding if I want to interrupt the window. What the hell? Interrupt the window. What's the worst that can happen? And I like to go both directions. Some up and down. Some left to right. Oh, you know what? You're not going to be able to really see these because it's going to... Hello? The lesson for the day, blend in with the inks. I don't think I need too much more of these, actually. Put a cap on that one. And I think I could, while I still have this gesso and it still looks usable. Um, where's my handy dandy? There it is. My little pan brush. Maybe I'll do some spritzes in white. What do you think? Yes? Okay. That's what we'll do. I probably need a little teeny bit of water in here. Make it a little bit more spritzier than two big clumps. That's all we need is another clump on this page, right? Do it. Stand back, everybody. I'm just gonna do that mostly in the on the black areas. Okay. A little splatter is gonna show up on the black, bit. but we're about to find out right there. Might have to come back with a second coat, but I can do that. I don't know why I did this one day and I don't know what it is about that shape but that visually just grabs my eye really good I like it I have no idea why and I probably don't need to know I just do Can I get everybody Yep. Oh, you know what? Since this is showing up better, I think I might go over these. That's a little bit more of the look that I wanted. That's a little bit more contrast. That white just sucked up that background. Hopefully these won't change color too much. This is... um. The PBO Studio Acrylic Dyna Colors. This one is violet blue. Actually looks like hot pink to me. Um, and you can't find these everywhere. And I really like these. If you've seen any of my jelly plate videos, which um, if you check out my channel, it's Patty Parish. Parish with two R's. Um, you'll see that I use these quite a bit for my um, in my jelly plate prints. I love them. So let's, I don't know, what are we gonna do? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Don't tell me, I already know. Is that too big? Yeah, this is the one I want. I'm gonna put little dots, a little bit more pink, and this has a sheen to it. It's like hot pink paint with the blue uh, luster in it. It is Yummy on a stick right there. I don't know if you can see that. Mmm. Love it. Oh, look at that. It's showing up almost like an interference color on here. Well, this is a, just a good old black gesso lesson for me and you. But the color goes, still in that 
pinky purple kind of family like I put in with my dilution sprays. Good thing an art journal has no rules. Anything goes. Otherwise, <laughs> I believe I would have to hang it up. Actually, it looks kind of cool. It almost looks... You um, can really see more of the iridescence than you can the color of the paint on this stuff, on the black. Even on the... where it's over the white, you can. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Not what I expected. Shocker. I knew. It's not what I expected either. I wanted a circle there. There we go. Good enough. Yeah, these are, this is um, pulling some of that blue up through there. Huh. Not bad, kind of cool actually. What to do, what to do. I'm gonna give you a little bit closer look so you can see what's going on. I don't know if you can see those dots of that PBO I just put in those circles. This one you can really see the blue coming through. My Christmas wreath in the middle. <laughs> Redo. So do I want some drippage on here and going with day. black drippage? This is the Golden's um, airbrush paints. They're thinner than the uh, fluid acrylics. And, um, let's see this how I think that might have a seal on it. Ah, look at that. I went ahead to squeeze that pretty hard to get that one to work. That might come out a little bit easier now. Mm. Can you imagine that coming out of there? Okay, drippage time. Here we go. What the hell? What's the worst that can happen, people? I think we already explored that earlier. <laughs> All right. I don't know how in frame I am there, what you guys can see, but you know what? What the hell? We're going to go. I'm going to go for it right there and right there. There it is in my book. Calling her done. Actually, you know what? The black's not too bad. Black's not too bad. Um, where are we going to put you, little tag? How about over here? I'm going to let this lay flat for a while. Little tiny attacher. You're on. You're official. You exist. And I think that's a wrap, folks. So I'll be posting about this. The next time I post for Art uh, Artist Seller. And we'll probably see it on my blog one day. So if you would, don't forget to check out artistseller.com. Check out their blog and the products I showed you and their stencils. Awesome. And sign up to my channel. Keep up with my videos and my blog at blogspot.com. It's Inky Obsessions with an S. InkyObsessions.blogspot.com. All right. Signing out.